Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Word 2013. This is the second part of our tutorial series and today we're going to be having a look at bullets and numbering. We're going to start off by highlighting our list of items which we want bullet points next to. Then on the home tab in the ribbon come across to bullets and click on it. This will insert the default bullet points as so. If you want to change those bullet points, highlight it, then click the down arrow next to bullet points. Then come to define a new bullet. We can insert a symbol, a picture, and we can then change the font types of our bullet point. We're going to use a symbol, and we're going to use a spades. We're then going to make this red, like our title. So we're going to come to font change the font colour and click OK. If you wanted to use a picture you can use a picture off your computer or off the internet as your bullet point. We're now going to click OK and it will change our bullet points. Sometimes you need to have a second level of bullet points like this. You can also change this bullet point by selecting here and then changing your bullet point to say this one which I made earlier. To get a second or third level you just press the tab key and it will keep changing the level. To go back just press backspace or shift tab and it will take you back up a level. We're going to get rid of these bullet points now and we're now going to insert numbering. To insert the numbering, come across to numbering on the home tab and click on it. This will insert the default numbering. Highlight it and click the down arrow. You will now be presented with a series of different ways of presenting your numbering. I'm going to go with this one. Click the down arrow again and click to find a new number format and click on font. Here we can change our font and change the colour. Again I'm going to change it to red. And I'm going to click OK. Click OK again and it will change colour. Again with numbering like with bullet points you can have second levels. Here that they can become letters, so we have 1A, 1B, etc. To change the colour of these second levels, come to define new bullet number format, click font, and change their colour. And click OK. That's then changed the colour of the second level. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. But for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.